and welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Hero Fleet Valley. Alright, so summer's almost over. That should be fun. So tomorrow's are actually our only chance in summer to catch a silverfish. For some reason I thought months in this game had 31 days. No. So yeah, basically tomorrow's the only day during the summer that we can maybe catch the silverfish. If not, we have to wait till the middle of fall. Please tell me it's not gonna rain tomorrow. Okay, good. So yeah, tomorrow we should be able to at least try to catch a silverfish. Hopefully it'll spawn, but eh, we'll see. Anyways, for now we should probably get to work. Hi Wallace! Oh yeah, kind of forgot about the goddess statue. Uh, let's go take a look at it. Oh wow, that's... a thing. Huh. That's kind of creepy with the empty eyes, gonna be honest. Oh, oh, what, actually wait, what color is her hair color again? It's purple, yeah, it's purple, we don't have a choice in the matter. I think it's a pretty purple. But yeah, looks like they're coming along. Hopefully it'll look better once it's painted, because right now it is kind of weird. Also, yeah, that's right, the Harvest Festival is in like half a month. So I guess we'll be able to see the final statue then. Also, yeah, for some reason they're confused that we know the hair color, even though there is now a world-famous painting of the Harvest Goddess in the basement of the temple, or of the uh, church. But yeah, looks like that's coming along nicely. All they gotta do is paint it and make it look good. Actually, the dress would probably look really good on it, wouldn't it? Like, they could probably borrow the dress and put it on there and it'll look, like, perfect. I mean, I don't know, would that- be? yeah, that is purple. I was gonna say maybe it's pink, but no, that's, like, lilac, I guess. But yeah, we're pretty much done with that path for the most part. Now we just kinda have to wait for them to finish and for the actual Harvest Festival to roll around. If we can make it big enough, maybe other people will want to come to the Valley to celebrate. That's kind of the whole idea behind this ending path, to make a super special statue to make everyone want to come and see it, and the uh, Harvest Festival that happens every year. Anyways, let's go take care of the animals. There's not much else we really need to do today, but I guess we'll go around the Valley. But yeah, tomorrow is going to be the big day. I do have bait, right? I should have bait. We're not going to want to try to get the uh, silverfish without bait. If we do, we're probably going to get a lot of garbage, which is not what we want. We want to basically take out as much stuff from the possible pool of fish as possible. And garbage is considered a fish for some reason. I mean, according to uh, Magical Melody, one of the legendary fish of the family is literally a boot. I forget, was it right or left boot that's the legendary one? I think it's the right boot. Either way, we don't want those. We want a fish. But yeah, like I said, we have to wait till tomorrow night. There we go. Oh, that reminds me. How much fish or how much milk do we have? Not a, a lot, surprisingly. Well, no way. That's not really surprising. I just remembered that I actually sold stuff yesterday for once. Normally, whenever I like pick up after uh, not recording for a bit, I usually have a ton of milk I need to sell. But no, for once it wasn't a time skip. Anyways, let's get out of here. Let's get out of. Let's get out of. I can't get on my horse because my cow is inside it. You know what? It's fine. Wow, I don't know why that cow just did not want me to get on today. Uh, let's go see what's happening else, or what else is happening around the valley. Also, yeah, the crops I'm just gonna let dry out. I should probably cut them down now, actually. Eh, I'll wait until the season starts. There's no Earth Day this time, so we don't have to worry about not being able to uh, cut them all down. Still the dumbest holiday in the series, by the way. I am never gonna get over that. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we should probably go find the uh, Harvest Sprites at some point. Uh, what time is it? Actually, we can just wait until like around eight. Actually, they're probably at home right now, aren't they? 
I guess we'll swing by the house. We could also go get lumber, except for the fact that I just remembered that I bought all the lumber I'm ever going to need already. We kind of don't need lumber at the moment. In fact, we can't even carry more lumber at the moment, really. Because, yeah, for some reason this game doesn't let you have multiple stacks of stuff in the storage bin. I don't know why. Also, we apparently have not talked to Lewis for a while. Have you heard about the 100-year-old cherry tree? Okay. Have you heard about the potato party? That actually kind of makes sense. Huh. I guess it would be like an emergency shelter area. Kind of out of the way to do that, though. I guess it would be to raise maybe just an old farm or something that everyone just somehow hyped up to be some super secret area. Also, apparently Lewis invented a camera. Interesting. But yeah, we're waiting for the uh, for them to get back about the blue butterfly. Oh, yeah. I don't know, You do you want to see its head? I have its head at home. Because for some reason we beheaded the robot horse after we finished, after we beat it out of race. Kind of a violent way to end the race, but whatever. It's ours now. But yeah, let's head home. There's not much else we really need to do today. And at this point, let's go see the Harvest Sprites for one thing. And then I might just skip till tomorrow night. Because yeah, we basically have to wait until like around 8 or 9 before we can fish up the silverfish. I think it's around 8 actually. We'll probably try starting around 8 and we'll be fishing for a while. But hopefully we can get it by then. If we can't get it tomorrow, like I said, we'll have to wait till fall. I just want to get it out of the way so I don't forget. And I don't risk the fact that we're going to have to wait for a sunny day. Uh, for the days it's available. Also, why'd I come in here? This is not where the Harvest Sprites live. Also, I think tomorrow's the last day we can get the Goddess Key for the uh, Harvest Goddess. We already got that, like, last month, so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, here's your mushroom. I have a lot of them. Uh, one second, where is it? There it is. Might as well give them away. And we just get more fishing bait in return. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna skip ahead till tomorrow night, so I will be right back. Unless something happens tomorrow morning. Okay, it's about 8 o'clock. Uh, we will wait a second, and then now time to go try to catch that silverfish. So yeah, unfortunately this is still based on chance, so... Hopefully we can catch it. Alright, let's do this. I do have a save file for right before this, so if you're seeing this, it's probably the file where I actually caught it. So yay, we caught the silverfish! Still, let's see if we can actually get it. Uh, where's my fishing rod? Alright, so the silverfish can actually be at any depth. It's completely random if any of these is a silverfish or not. This might be it, actually. Nope, that's a pot. Every time I see something that's actually hard to catch, I think it's the silverfish. Because, yeah, if we don't have an upgraded rod, it's actually kind of difficult to catch. This, I don't know if this is the silverfish. Seems too easy. Yeah, that's not it. Okay, we're probably going to be catching a lot of catfish, by the way. At least I put down bait, so we won't be catching any garbage. Alright, come on, beat the silverfish. Nah, seems too easy. Yeah, that's an eel. Oh wait, do I have inventory space? I think I do. Yeah, I think I emptied my inventory before this, so I'm fine. That being said, we don't actually need inventory space to catch the uh, silverfish. Nope, that's another eel. Alright, we still have time. Uh, I need to- oop. I need the speed deep. Fortunately, we have all night. And by all night, I mean literally all night. I think it despawns at like 5 a.m. Oh, hey, new uh, record for my eel. Alright, uh, looks like we still have a few more fish here. So even if we don't catch it right away, we can just leave the area and respawn the fish. That being said, we're probably going to be dead on our feet tomorrow if we don't catch it, like, 
at a reasonable time. Then again, we don't really have to do much. No, wait, no, we do have to do a lot tomorrow. Whoops. I just remembered. Tomorrow's the uh, first of the season, so we have planting and... Okay, yeah, hopefully we can catch this thing at, like, a reasonable time then. Alright, come on, someone bite down. Also, yeah, I don't know why I said leave the area. I forgot that the fish respawn whenever uh, you just stop fishing for a second. Seems too easy. Yeah, that's another eel. Okay. Anyone? Come on. Someone bite down. Thank you. Eh, still seems too er easy. Ooh, I just realized that this is also draining our stamina. We're gonna have to be careful. I don't want to wake up sick tomorrow. Come on, bite down. Please be the silverfish. This might be it. Oh wait, this might actually be it. It's fighting back quite a bit. Nope, that's another pot. It's actually starting to get hard to see, too. Oh. It's fall now. Actually, wait a second, it's fall now. Uh... Did the silverfish de- Wait, is this it? This might be it. Caught it! The second it turned fall, I caught the silverfish. There it is. It is... Silver, that's for sure. Alright, let's take this home and eat it. Oh, hey Joe. Apparently we just called Joe out in the middle of the night. But yeah, we caught the silverfish. This super rare endangered fish. And now we have to let it go. I want to eat it though. It looks like it could be tasty. But... But I'm hungry. Fine. No, we can't catch it. Or we can't keep it. But we did take it. Oh my god, that is a massive scale. But yeah, we have proof of the silverfish that lives in the lake now. But yeah, we proved it, we got a scale, and now we just need to send it in and wait for them to acknowledge it. Awesome. But yeah, we'll stop by the cafe later, but I think it's actually going to take a while for them to respawn. Because I just remembered something. Uh, what is it? Since this one can be caught all the way until winter, there is a very good chance that we'll have to wait till winter to hear back from them. Fishing magazines are very slow. But yeah, we caught the silverfish. That took a lot less tries than I thought it would. Honestly, I expected to have to save and reload a couple of times to do that. But no, got first time, or first try. Awesome, let's get out of here. I feel good about that, and we only got, what, six hours of sleep last night? Hi, Gwen. Oh. Bye, Snowball. I miss him already. Also, I read that as we should get him back, too. But no. Snowball's gone. Also, why was he already white? Don't they not turn white until winter? Oh. Actually, yeah, I think I suggested that earlier. We could have just literally taken a photo of him. That would have solved all our problems. He would have been free to roam around the village, and we would have proof that he lives in the... Actually, no. I guess Gwen's worry was that people would want to come and try to capture him and study him. Alright. But yeah, that's another hint. Basically, the next event's going to be a nighttime event. So we'll have to make sure that we stop by, like, the lumber area around nighttime sometime. Not right away, though. We have plenty of time. Anyways, first day of fall. Let's cut everything down. And then we'll have to buy some seeds later, and that's pretty much the plan for today. Oh, but I'm so glad that we managed to cast a silverfish today, or yesterday. Well, technically today. Fortunately, the game still considers it, like, the 30th of summer until you go to bed. So even though the date said the first of fall, technically we could still catch the silverfish. Either way, we caught it, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. 
So that ending path is pretty much done. We don't have to catch it again or anything. That would be dumb. Also, it's kind of, kind of a good thing that we got rid of the robot fish. I think if you don't get rid of the robot fish, you can't do this path. I'm not sure, actually. I've never actually done it before. If I've done it, I mean this path. No, I've done this path before, but I don't think I've ever done this path without also doing the mecha path. Because a surprising amount of the endings require that you do mecha events. So if you miss them, I guess you're just kind of screwed for a couple of endings. I mean, it's really hard to miss them, to be honest, because every time one happens, someone shows up at your door yelling at you to do something. Or there was the one time when we got attacked at home by a crow. Actually, no, wait, that was Lewis's fault. Never mind. But yeah, we'll be sure to buy some seeds later. Also, everyone get inside, I wanna get some eggs. I guess later we should also make sure we stop at the church. I think they're still there, by the way. It's been like two weeks, but eh. We'll go see how they're doing. I just wanna make sure I don't miss any events uh, with the Funland group. I don't think we missed any, so we should be okay. But still, better safe than sorry. All right, so everyone's outside. Chickens have been fed or have been uh, egged. I don't know what the term for gathering eggs is. We've got all the eggs. That's what's important. All right. So yeah, we're gonna be planting later. How many fields do I? I want to stick with the first three rows again. Every season I say that we always end up expanding because I need to plant more stuff, but this time I'm serious. We're sticking to three rows. For now. We'll see. Alright, but yeah, let's go buy some seeds. Actually, no, we're not going to buy seeds right away. Let's go see if there are any requests that we need to do. And then we'll buy seeds, like always. But yeah, we'll go check on the church later. Oh wait, that's not a mushroom. Also, yeah, since we went to bed so late last night, our stamina or our fatigue didn't fully recover. But that's fine. We're not gonna be doing anything anything too strenuous today. Also, we should probably check at the uh, what is it called? The mine. I want to see if anything else unlocked. Cause I honestly don't remember anything about the mine past this point. We'll go take a look. Also, unfortunately, we can't tell anyone about the silverfish. Also, another thing about the silverfish path, uh, if you had befriended Kurt by quite a bit by this point, he could actually give you an upgraded fishing rod. I don't think we befriended him high enough. Either that or because we already have an upgraded fishing rod, he won't give us a new one, but whatever. So yeah, that's another way of just getting a better fishing rod if you don't want to pay for it. Let's go check on the uh, Funland people. Are they still upstairs? Yep, they're still here. Do you guys just live here at this point? You know what I like to think? I think they accidentally dropped the key to their office down the lake when the uh, raft sank and they're just too embarrassed to say anything about it. Oops. So they're just stuck here because they can't get back into their own building. That's my can and I choose to believe it. But no, they're still recovering. But yeah, we'll be sure to stop by the cafe later. But like I said, we're probably not going to be hearing back about the fishing ma from the fishing magazine until like winter. So we have plenty of time. Plus we go to the bar all the time anyway to sell stuff. Oh, you know where we should go? Supermarket. We should probably pay attention to Rado now that he has an ending path dedicated to him. We'll go see him later. 
Anyways, for now, I think I'm just gonna go super deep into the mine and see if I can find a new path or a new room. If I don't, oh well. If I do, we might try to clear it. Alright, we're still in old old territory. Yeah, I'm not sure if there would be anything new, because pretty much the end of the line is the Harvest Goddess Temple. Also, I kind of forgot the directions in the mine anyway, so... Man, it's been a while since we've been down here, but I guess we don't really need ore anymore for anything. At least for now. Okay, I remember this room. I believe, yeah, I believe we've done this room before. Was this open before? This might be new. Ah, no, no, wait, no, I think we've done this already. This one might also be new. Actually, wait, no, I think this one is new. Yeah, I don't think we've done this yet. Okay, so how do we do this then? All right, so let's take a look at this. So if I, oh, whoa, whoa, whoops. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Uh-oh, this is fine. Okay, I meant to examine it, not accidentally hit with my hammer, but I guess that works. Okay, maybe we'll try to solve this at some other point when I don't screw up. Oh well, now well, while we're here, might as well just slowly clear out the room then. Nothing. There's literally no benefit to clearing out the room in a single shot other than saving energy, by the way. You don't get, like, rare stuff from doing it. Either way, it looks like there's nothing really super rare in here. Nah, just mineral crystals. Okay. In that case, I might just end the episode here. So yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna end the episode here. So, next time I- Let me out of here. Next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Hero Play Valley, we're gonna start off all right by planting a bunch of stuff and hoping that nothing horrible happens. So, till then.